Fowl Robotics actually is manufacturing the Humanate robots. So we are expertise in the biped Humanate robots, but we also have like mobile uh, manipulators and also some uh, logistic uh, robots. We have Ari here. It's one of our social robots. So we use Ari for like human robot interaction. And mostly we tested and used Ari in like hospital and clinic environment, but also it's a, it's a great application for the entertainment purposes, like in an event or in the entrance, like welcoming people and etc. This year we have two partners with us. One partner, I think you've already talked to them, is presenting a medical application in surgery with uh, one of our robots, the Elbia Eva Med. And we've got another application, which is more a pick and place application with uh, visual assistance. And that was the winner of uh, the Guga Innovation Award of, of last year. And we are very happy to have them with us and, and show what they have achieved so far. So our most clients come from uh, the research institutions like lab research centers, but also we have the industry uh, clients that they use actually uh, in their facilities. Just to take an example in the healthcare sector, there are so many re repetitive tasks that the, uh, the nurses and doctors are handling and they are actually a lack, lack of uh, employees, you know, in this sector. So to be honest, like uh, putting this robot, it's like a assistive purposes for the nurses and the doctors. Uh, so they are quite useful uh, to just automate those repetitive tasks and they can have some time you know for more valuable uh, tasks that they can actually do in the hospital. AI is a very hot topic among the whole society but especially on robotics and uh, I think I share a lot of uh, um, the same opinions like uh, many of the professionals here and that's fine to hear that's one of the reasons why we're here to listen to their opinions to their experience and one thing is that AI is so far not so reliable that you can leave it alone. Uh, you really have to control it, keep the human in the loop, and then uh, the human, the production um, environment can heavily benefit from AI by the AI assisting us in making us more productive or uh, relieving us from um, certain workload and on the other hand uh, the, the human in the loop can ensure the quality of the outcome of, of the AI and make sure that if there's some error this is not too severe.